You're watching Movie Guides Backstage Pass. I'm Cheryl Crisp. For years, Matthew West has read thousands of letters from fans, turning their life stories into song. We're here in Matthew's hometown of Nashville to hear more about his story. Well, since the first day that I invited people to share their story with me, um, not a single day has passed without a story coming in from somewhere in the world. So we've estimated it to be over 40,000. It's just been unbelievable. I take those stories with me to a cabin uh, in Tennessee, not far from where I live, and uh, I spend time reading people's stories. And a lot of times those stories are um, kind of the jumping off point, the inspiration to the songs that I write. We've started a whole nonprofit organization where we um, help facilitate that, encouraging people to get the courage to tell their story. Pop it's called Pop We, yeah, which is inspired by the population signs you see when you drive into a town. And the encouragement is that, you know, to, to think about, like, what's the population of your little world? And that was the big question that I began to ask as I collected people's stories, because I felt like every time people shared a story with me, my world got bigger because I wasn't thinking about just me anymore. And, um, and so selfishly, this has had a pretty profound impact on my life, you know? I'm still a selfish person, like, like everybody maybe is tempted to be in life, you know, and think more about their problems than other people's. But these stories have helped, little by little, raise my eyes above my own circumstances, right? When you go visit an 11-year-old kid who's at the stage where the medication is just for comfort and they've they've kind of said there's nothing more we can do. And when you meet her single mom who's fighting through it because the dad couldn't handle the pressure and took off, and you sit in that room for a little while, like your problems look pretty small. And, uh, and so that's been a real just eye-opening experience for me and has really served as new inspiration for songs that I write and books that I write to go, I feel like I'm on a mission more than ever, not just to put a nice song into the world, but to push a song into a hospital room like that and maybe give a little girl a smile, you know? So um, it's been a pretty cool, cool journey. And as long as the stories come in, I'll continue to read them and continue to write songs. In every song that I write, like there's a piece of my life story in it. But over time, I just started feeling drawn to the stories of other people's lives. and so. I think it was about seven years ago, I first put a message on social media just inviting people to share their story with me. The song Hello My Name is first was inspired by a true story of a, of a guy named Jordan. Jordan uh, was an all-American athlete in college, but after a severe injury, he wound up being handed some prescription pain medication. Um, instead of having big man on campus on his name tag anymore, or all-American, uh, it was replaced with drug addiction. and. Um, regret, shame, guilt over how he'd hurt his family and his friends. And what he shared with me was just about the, the pretty radical turnaround in his life that came when he realized that his battle with addiction was just as much about a battle with his identity. And he said, you know, my whole life I've been trying to figure out what makes me special. And so I would put all my weight on that identity as the All-American or the popular kid or the the big man on campus. But when that was taken away from me, I was spinning out of control because I didn't know who I was. I thought that's who I was. And he said, that's when drug addiction took over. But God has shown me that I'm not defined by the, the good stuff or the bad stuff. It's who I am in Him that matters. Thanks for watching Movie Guide's Backstage Pass. To watch more videos like this, go to movieguide.org. Whoa!